Hey everybody, it's Erica from Pink Buggery Designs and it is Facebook Friday on Thursday. Um, hopefully you guys remember, I'm sure lots of you have tomorrow off too, right? It's, most, it's mostly a holiday, Good Friday. I know my kids are off of school, um, which, you know, <laughs> throws everything off. I ran into a friend yesterday who is a teacher and she told me there were only like 32 days of school left and I wanted to cry. <laughs> uh, I know my kids are big, but it's still, it's just such a like chaotic circus here in the summer and it's hard to, to work. I know, I know, whatever. All right, good, I see you guys jumping on. Hello, so today is Catch You Later really cute stamp set with quite a few options for sentiments um kind of well i don't know if you'd call them a pun well kind of but you know kind of little funny sayings so um we're gonna make three projects and then i have three bonus projects also um i didn't i didn't film any extra videos this week um but i will be posting some extra ideas for you all right, so while you guys are jumping on, I'm gonna run through a few things. Um, the All-Star Tutorial Bundle this month is the New Horizons. I know I'm behind in emailing this out. I'm gonna set it over on my computer and do it today. Um, if you've placed an order with me this month, you'll get this for free if you spend over $50. Um, it's also available in my PDF store. It's 12 tutorials video tutorials by 12 different demonstrators featuring the New Horizons bundle. And mine is a shaker card with sand in it. Um, we had a blog hop last week with a bonus project. So if you like that New Horizons bundle in the spring catalog, make sure you check out those details. All right, um, next, what do I want to tell you? Oh, Club Create. Man, Club Create's bursting at the seams and I think I might have to turn off um, subscriptions soon. So if you want in on Club Create for May, it features the, um, tea boutique uh, bundle and paper well the, the bundle is called cup of tea the paper is called tea boutique and it uses it features all the new ink colors um i try to limit the ink pads by the way um it uses three new ink pads not all five um but you can also you there's other colors within the suite if i remember it's crush curry um garden green so you can always pull in colors that you have ink pads that you have but anyway club creates $39 a month it's a subscription and when you um, stay consistently six months in a row you get a $25 product bonus so if you're interested in that there is a tab at the top of my blog um, that says club create and it has the subscription link there it also has all the past club create kits that we've done um, all those PDFs are still available in my PDF store and they all include a video link embedded within that first page. Um, I always do a big video with Club Create. Um, have you guys checked my blog post yet? Is it up? I time a blog post to go up the same time I go live every week, and sometimes it doesn't go up, but I wanted to make sure it's there because all of the links and things I'm gonna tell you about are over there as well. Um, shaded Summer Class to Go. The deadline for this isn't until April 22nd but I only have six spots left because the paper is sold out and I only have so much paper. So if you want this shaded summer class to go, make sure you click on that link for those details. I don't have the dies anymore, um, but the dies will be in the new catalog. So if you don't have the dies and you want the dies, you can always order the kit and order the dies next month. Just an option, okay? So that is that. I'm gonna start working on getting that cut for next week. The other class to go this month is also a sold out bundle, <laughs> um, Birds and Branches. Um, if you have this bundle already, then you can sign up for this class. Unfortunately, it sold out almost immediately um, right after I sold after I listed this class. Um, but it is still available for those of you that do have the bundle. Um, you can find that link again on today's PDF and as well as at the bottom of today's blog post. All right, so that is that. I'm gonna turn you guys around because I wanna show you um, some of the new designer series paper. I just listed my, my uh, paper and ribbon share for this new catalog. Um, have any of you who are, who are not demonstrators, have you guys received your catalogs in the mail yet? I haven't heard from anybody. Um, they, they are coming straight from Stampin' Up, so I don't know. Um, a lot of times it, they're on the slow boat, <laughs> you know, media mail, so they take forever. 
But if anybody's a customer who is getting a catalog from me, have you received it yet? I'm interested to know. Um, as a demonstrator, we can pre-order from this catalog, which I have sifting right here. Let me close it. Looks like this. Um, but we can't order everything. So I don't have all the new papers and ribbons to show you. Um, when you get your catalog, you can look in the catalog to see um, all of the papers and things. Michelle says she has not received her catalog yet. I haven't heard of anybody who has gotten it. So it's they're coming, I promise. I know it's hard to wait. So the papers that I do have, I'm going to show you. And you know what? I don't even know their names. Let's see, if I open this catalog over here, I can't show you the inside of the catalog, which is a which is a horrible rule, but I can't show you, but I can look at the names over here. All right, this is called Hues of Happiness, and it's flowers, which aren't always my thing, but I love this paper. Okay, it's mixed up, hold on. Hold, please. Here we go. Let's do it like that. Why am I all mixed up here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just photographed it all this morning, so it should be in somewhat of an order. So anyway, there's a bundle that goes with this. Um, I actually have a card that I made with this, and I have no idea where I put it. Um, when I was in Utah last month, we did a make and take. Oh, wait, is it right here? Yes, here it is. We did one project, and it was featuring this stuff. So there is, there are dies and stamps that coordinate with this and the dies cut out the the flowers on the paper okay so have hues of happiness is one of the papers so in the um paper share you can choose if you want six by twelve which is a half sheet or six by six um and you know it's priced depending on which you choose so with that, you'll get a either six by six or a six by 12 piece of every single new pack of paper. I'm not including the um, bright, subtles, neutrals, those. Um, but all the other new designer series paper, you're gonna either get a quarter of sheet of it or a half sheet, depending on what you pick. And I, if I counted correctly, I believe it was either 87 or 89 sheets of paper. Um, so this is just a sampling. This one is called, let's see what this one is called, Sun Prints, Sun Prints, it's all blues. And then this is the, the masculine paper, which is called He's the Man. Do you guys like the He's the Man stuff if you've seen it? I'm definitely gonna do either a class or a club with it. Um, it's interesting. It has a whole sheet of embellishments, like die cut embellishments, which I don't even have in here. I didn't use it for the photographs. So I'm not real sure how we would do that. But for the paper share, I'm just going to cut it straight down the middle. Um, that's the only way I can think. You'll still, you might lose a few, but you will still get several. And then we have a whole pack of black and white paper called Perfectly Penciled. Kind of that rustic, you know, um, grungy... Grungy, I don't know, grungy doesn't feel like the right word. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So good to see you guys. Happy Thursday. Um, so within the paper share, the paper shares cost $8 to ship. Paper is very heavy. And if you, if your package is weighs over, uh, weighs more than a pound, then it costs a whole lot more if you uh, ship first class. Paper is always over a pound. So I use flat rate shipping, $8. Um, now, that's just the paper that I have right now. That's not all the paper. Um, today, I listed all the names of the papers on my blog so you can see them and you can look at your catalog when you get your catalog to see what you'll be getting. Um, on the flip side, there's a ribbon share. And um, this is the only ribbon that I have. It's the in color ribbon. Um, I counted, I think, 13 different new ribbons. Um, so in a ribbon share, then you're gonna get a yard of each of the new ribbons, okay? One yard. And I added the option, if you want two yards, you can actually add that with no additional shipping cost. The ribbon I can ship, it's under a pound, so it's about $5. Um, now, if you buy both a paper share and a ribbon share, Ribbon share is $16, by the way. Um, if you buy the paper and the ribbon share, then you're gonna get a share 
of this paper, which is the new host paper, you know, the paper that was um, like we had in this last catalog called Pattern Party that I love so much. It is uh, one of the free things you can choose um, when your order is over $150. So you'll get, if you buy both paper and ribbon, you'll get um, some of this paper. It's really pretty. Um, it's not the Brights family, which is what I like. Oh, I love that one, but I do like it. And I know some of you are gonna love it. Some of you are not uh, not bright people like me. You like the subtle colors. So these are more subtle. Although Blackberry Bliss is in here and that's not a subtle. They're more soft tones, very cute. Lots of patterns, some monochromatic, some, you know, rainbow. But anyways, I'll have this open just for a couple of weeks. And then on May 3rd, I'll close it and I will order the paper and the ribbon. It takes me about a week, sometimes a little more than a week to get it from Stampin' Up. And then it takes me at least two weeks, if not three weeks to get everything cut and packaged. So my um, intention, my goal, I'm going somewhere May 31st, I'm going on a trip. So my goal is to have it in the mail before I leave. Um, There's a lot of things happening in May, so I can't 100% promise that, but I'm gonna 100% promise to try to make it ship before the end of May. Okay. So that is listed today. Um, you have to email me for the link, you know, you know how this goes. Um, email me for the link. If you're on my mailing list, I sent that link out today, um, on email. If you didn't get it, search your spam folder. It will be there. Okay. Um, let's see, Vicki, I agree. That ribbon is really so different from anything we've ever had. It's, I mean, it's so light and a, and a really teeny tiny skinny width. Um, it's really pretty. Okay, so In Color Club is the other thing you can sign up for. And in Color Club, you don't have to email me for the link because I'm not collecting any money on this. Um, it's gonna, I'm gonna set up an automatic payment for five months and it will charge you each month. And each month you're gonna get a In Color Kit. And in that kit, you're gonna get a full pack of cardstock. You'll get the ink pad, the refill. You'll get the stamp and write marker. You'll get the blends, the stamp and blends. You'll get, um, let's see if I can pull this out. You'll get the pattern paper for that color. You'll get a bolt of ribbon. Let's see, where's my ribbon? and a bolt of twine, all right? Then you're also going to get a handmade card from me and a bonus free embellishment. I choose something different every month, so five months. What I'm doing is splitting the host rewards between all of you. You're all combining your orders to get big host rewards, and then I divide it by however many people we have, and I buy everybody something with those host rewards every single month. Um, and then the last month, I'm going to send you some, uh, I'm going to send you the pack of this, as well as some of the DSP um, that coordinates the other DSP, or I might send you the glimmer paper, I'm not sure, but you'll get some additional free stuff on that fifth month. Okay, so in Color Club, I lost my paper, is, um, I hope this is right, I hope this is this year's <laughs> printout, $59.00 plus $8 shipping, again, flat rate. These are like three or four pounds, they're so heavy. Um, and it's fun, it's like Christmas every month, you get a surprise, um, you have these beautiful colors to um, play with, and you get a handmade card and a free embellishment, and it's just a lot of fun. So, signups for that are open. The link is on today's blog post, as well as the PDF, and I will update the video here with that link as well. Um, no money is due when you sign up for In Color Club. Again, I'll set up a um, subscription that will charge you every month, or well, that will send you a bill every month on the first. Okay, was that it? I feel like there was a lot of things I needed to tell you. I guess not. All right, let's see. Today, we are doing um, Catch You Later. Uh, make sure you go over to Pink Buckaroo. I asked, again, I asked questions and then I didn't look at the comments. Is the blog post up? Um, Eleanor says Club Create for He's the Man. Eleanor, that's kind of what I was thinking. What do you guys think, Club Create members? Do you like He's the Man? Um, I don't have the price of the 12 by 6 pack, Lois, listed on my blog. Um, it is 56. 
So it's, it should be on the registration page. Thank you for telling me. I will go fix that. Um, when you register, obviously it's there. It'll show you. Um, 56 for the 12 by 6. And if you want to combine, if you and a friend, thank you, Deb. Thank you. She says blog post is up. If you want to get in with a friend and you both buy a paper share, um, I can ship the 6 by 6s together in a padded envelope. I cannot pack the 6 by 12 together in a padded envelope um, or even the legal envelope. They won't fit. Um, but you, there's options there. You'll see that you can add on a second 6 by 12 or 6 by 6 or a second ribbon share and not pay additional um, shipping if you want that. Okay. He's the man. Sounds good to you, Sue. Yeah. Okay. Or Deb, were you saying yes to he's the man? <laughs> Who knows? Thank you, Denise. Denise says blog post is up. 12 by 6 um, inches. Dinah, Dean, what did, I, what did I not do? 6 by 12 by 6, 6 by 12. If I have typos, I'm sure I do. I have typos every single time. Every single time. It's like an Easter egg hunt when you go to my brand new class listing. You can find the typo. <laughs> find the mistake I made. I know. I'm really good at that. Okay, so this week, Facebook Friday, catch you later. If you like today's projects, if you put in an order by Monday at midnight using this host code, I will send you today's projects as a make and take pack for free. It comes like this. You will just need, today you will need the catch you later stamp set and the embossing folders. I don't ever do any embossing. That takes way too long. But I will do the die cutting for you. Um, and I'll send you embellishments and the paper and everything that you need. You'll need stamps and ink. I don't send any pre-stamped images. That's just a thank you tag. Okay? All right, so be on the lookout for that. The deadline for that is Monday at midnight. Okay, I know it's a busy weekend, so don't forget to put your orders in. Um, Prizes today. <laughs> thank you, Sue. Uh, Jennifer, my life is a typo. You guys are so funny. Um, Dinah, that's with, um, that's with ribbon. And shipping. $80 is 6 by 12 ribbon shipping. That's what that is. Um, but I'll check it. I'll check it. Make We'll make sure afterwards, okay? Um, prizes from last week. Marianne McGinnis and Kim Scutchfield. Thank you for sharing the video. Marianne, I'm pretty sure I have your mailing address. Kim, I don't think I have yours. So message me and I'll get these out next week. I don't think there's mail tomorrow. Is there? Is there mail pickup tomorrow? Is tomorrow a, holiday, a national holiday? Maybe it's not. I can't remember. Saturday, I can mail them Saturday. Anyway, just let me know your mailing address. Um, this week I have two good prizes, two really good prizes. Not my chamois, that's not a prize. Two bundles, Wildcats, nothing's better, nothing's better than. Um, all you have to do is share the video, Facebook or YouTube, and comment that you shared, and then tell me which bundle you want, so that when I randomly pick the two people, I can get send you the bundle you want, because if you want this one and you don't want this one, I don't want to send you this one, okay? So when you share, make sure that you will that you tell me what you want. Carol, there is mail tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, okay. Good Friday's not a holiday. Seems like it should be, right? I know some people have Friday and Monday off. We used to have that at school, Friday and Monday. And my college daughter has Friday and Monday off, but my younger two do not. They just have Friday. Okay, we are ready to go. This first card, did I, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Denise, what did I forget? I don't know. I feel like I forgot something. I'm going to try to hurry because I got the dryer repair man coming. Our dryer's been broken for two weeks. Finally, they have the part. They're coming. <laughs> so I got to be done by 3.15. Um, of course, we all know. They'll probably be late. He tried to come early. I was like, sorry, Facebook Friday. Okay. <laughs> he was like, I have no idea what that means. So catch you later. Cute little stamp set. It does not have dyes. It's just um, the stamp set. And I am not going to make you fussy cut. Although I do have to show you. There's no fussy cutting today. But here's my bonus card. Look at my fussy cutting, you guys. That's about the most serious fussy cutting I've ever done. And I can even see where I should have fixed it a little bit more. This is um, a copy of a card that was made for one of the Million Dollar Achievers. And I've been saving it um, because I wanted to make something with it. They use a different stamp set. But look at that. I'm pretty proud of my fussy cutting, but I'm not going to make you guys do that. <laughs> no fussy cutting today, okay? I promise. Um, the other thing <clears throat> that I'm going to be showing you today are some of my favorite things that are on the last chance list. 
If you don't know, the last chance list is, um, we used to call it the retired list, which I feel like is a better name, the retired list, because all these products on the last chance list or retired list are retiring. They're not coming back. And tons of them are already sold out. I haven't counted lately, but there was a lot um, of things on the like discount, like gone, sold out list. So make sure that you are not waiting too long on the things that you need or want because um, they're going really, really fast. At the time that I typed my PDF up yesterday, these things were still available, fingers crossed. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is color our little cat. And I'm gonna use Memento. And I'm gonna stamp on basic white thick. I have been finding lately that my, oh, oh, I didn't do a very good job, let's do it again. That my blends are not doing such a great job on our basic white. Um, I don't know if it's something, again, why is that doing that? Oh, it got squished down, something was on it. All right, well, we're gonna go with it. Um, I don't know if it's this changeover of the new paper, but I just have found that it, it bleeds really a lot easier on, I'm gonna try to zoom in. Uh oh, nope, that didn't work. Are you guys still there? Oh, forget it. Every time I try to zoom in, I screw it up. One of these days, I'm gonna upgrade. Oh, it did zoom in. It did. But see, now I can't see it on my phone. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm gonna screw it up. One of these days, I am. I'm going to, I'm gonna bite the bullet and we're gonna use that new software. But I'm too scared to do it. I'm too scared. Okay. So, anyway, white, thick white, I'm finding does a lot better with um, Stampin' Blends. Our old, um, now I can't even remember, what was our white called? Whisper White, our old Whisper White did great, but we lost that vendor during pandemic, right? Um, and so Stampin' Up! has a new paper, which is excellent paper. I, I really can't tell any difference, except for when I use my blends. Um, and I don't know if it's just the pack of paper that I've had or if or what, but I just for some reason haven't been as happy with my basic white um, coloring with my blend. I don't know if any of you've noticed that. But the, the fix for that is just um, using your thick. Your thick white does really well and that you're not going to have that problem. All right, so I've given our little cat a coating of light pumpkin pie. We've got these little hash marks here where the artist show, showing us where we need to put some shading. So I'm adding some dark and then I'm gonna go back with my light and blend it up into that. And it will have kind of a, you know, um, you know, like a blended ombre kind of look there. Um, I put a little bit of dark behind the fishbowl because there would be a shadow. Now, Inside the fishbowl, I feel like it needs to look a little bit different because we're looking through glass. So I'm just gonna do a real light coating right there, all right? So it's a little bit lighter. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I want my cat really orange. Do you, does anybody have an orange cat? Um, I haven't had a cat since I was a little girl and um, my husband and my daughter are very allergic, so we can't have a cat, but if I was to have a cat, it would be an orange cat. I love orange cats. Um, and I've heard that most orange cats are male cats, which I find very interesting. Now, it's not always the case, but the majority of the time, that's what I've been told, orange cats are male cats. All right, so he, he's looking at a flirty flamingo fish who is swimming in a pool party. <laughs> bowl of water, okay? All right, so that's easy, easy to color. Very, um, oh, Susan, you have an orange cat. Um, I just love orange cats, they're so cute. I would love to get a cat, but I want a cat that doesn't shed. <laughs> is there such a thing? I want a cat that's gonna be nice. Because when, when you get a cat, you don't know. You don't know, are they gonna be nice? Are they gonna be rude? You just don't know. I don't know. I mean, I guess I'd have to get rid of my husband and my daughter to get a cat, but the shedding really is a deal breaker for me. <laughs> All right, pumpkin pie um, 
tailor-made tag. Largest, the one with the kind of rounded top. And I am gonna use these little fish right here from Seascape. Retiring stamp set. Mm, this might have already been sold out, I'm not sure. Oh, you know, and I did not put that on the supply list either. But any fish stamp, look at your stamps. I'm sure you have a fish stamp. Um, and I'm just gonna stamp some fish on here in pumpkin pie. Hairless, Denise, you know, I actually Googled it once and that did come up. And I, you know, not to be rude, but sorry, hairless cats, you are not for me. <laughs> you are not for me. Um, Lois says it's also very, very unusual for a male cat to be calico. Interesting. So most calicos are female. Is that what you're telling me, Lois? That's very interesting. Um, we had a cat that adopted us when I was a kid. You know, they just show up and then they live with you. Um, her name was Mickey and, uh, my brother found her and named her. But anyway, she was like a Siamese. I mean, I don't know if she was full Siamese, but she was Siamese. And my mom and I, I don't know if my mom's on here, but we have, we have different memories of that cat. I remember the cat being sweet and fun and cute. And my mom says she wasn't. <laughs> so who knows? All right. I want to point out this right here. I know this may not look like anything special to you, but this is pale papaya and it is from a new set of dies. Did I show you guys last week? I did. They are called the new stylish shape dies and they are stitched. There are circles, squares, and banners. All right, so that's what that is. A little sneaky peek from the catalog that goes live May 3rd. And I'm gonna, do you think we can get it straight? Oh gosh, that was terrible. Flip it over before you guys can see it. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down, let's see. Okay, that's better. That was really crooked, but that's why cardstock has two sides, right? One for practice <laughs> and one for the real thing. Okay, so the other things that we're gonna do, and this, this is where our retired things come in. We're gonna cut out the cat with this die right here. These are the Stitch So Sweetly dies. These are super popular. I would say almost as popular as our Stitch Shape dies were. And everybody is super sad to see them go. Um, we have now stitched rectangles that are similar to this, but we don't really have anything like this. So um, these are really cool dies. They're on the last chance list. Hopefully they're still there. Um, I hope I didn't tell you guys a lie that everything was still available. I've also cut out a pool party um, stitched rectangle, and I'm gonna emboss it with the dots embossing folder. This is one of our embossing folders designed for the mini cut and emboss, but I'm just gonna use it on my big one. It actually comes in a pack of two. There's the dots and the checks retiring. And then I know not, not very many people use the stitch triangles probably like I do. I love, I love the stitch triangles and they are retiring. We're actually not using the triangle. We're gonna use the stitched little pennant banner there but stitch triangles i mean have you ever tried to just free cut like freehand a triangle it's not easy it is not easy so if you don't have a triangle set of triangle dies those are the best ones because they're stitched and they're very cute all right we're gonna cut out our little cat i will tell you that when i first started making this card i did cut him out i fussy cut him but then I decided, nope, let's use one of our retiring dies and we will cut him out with that. I'll give all my fussy cutting haters out there a break this week. <laughs> but just wait till next week. No, just kidding. Okay, so there's that. Now, we have two embossing folders. We're gonna do this one first. This is one of the thin embossing folders. It's not thick. So I always have to think about how to do this. You know, and if you forget, look at your plate. With a standard embossing folder, you're gonna use one and then both of the clear ones, it says, okay? So let's try that. I feel like that doesn't, that's not right, but who am I to judge the instructions? Oh yeah, no, that's right. You'll know as soon as you go through, you'll know. It either won't go through, and that means it's wrong, or it goes through way too easily, and that means it's wrong. So this is the dots. And then the other one, which I'm really sad about, is the uh, Tasteful Textiles. <laughs> tasteful Textiles. This is one of our embossing folders that we used to have another one like this, but this one was even better than that one. That one was called 
subtle or something, subtle. It makes your cardstock textured. It's like textured cardstock, which, you know, hello. Now, my plate has disappeared. Let's see if we can find it. Hmm, because if we can't find that plate, we're not going to emboss. It was right here. Did I take it off? Hmm. Every week, right? Every week I lose something. But you know what? I have this plate. I've heard that this works the same. Do you guys have this? Let's try this one. Does this work? Let's see. Oh, it does. <laughs> Your cut and emboss machine comes with a plate, a gray plate. And I swear it was here, but I don't know what happened to it. I lose this plate too. Do you guys lose that plate, number two? That's one you do not want to lose because you can't just, you really can't use use it without almost, almost all the dies. Well, I think all the dies, you have to have that plate. But anyway, there you go. All right, now, crisis adver averted. Nobody, nobody freak out. We found something that worked. That um, gray, the gray plate, you know, that goes on the top, it's probably down there. A lot of my things fall down the back of the table. Do y'all do that? Something is going on with my phone. Okay, guys, hold on. Hold on just a second. I got to fix it because this is really bugging. Okay. Okay. Everybody, close your eyes. This is going to motivate me to get that software so that I don't have to do this every time. Okay, hold on. All right. Hold your breath. Are we there? Are we good? Okay. I'm trying to zoom out now, but there we go. Okay, I think we got it. But then it did that weird thing again. Okay, whatever. Moving on. Adhesive. Adhesive. I have been using Stamp and Seal Plus again this week over there where I stamp. And it hasn't given me any problems. But I'm, uh, I don't trust it on Facebook Live. I swear it wants to jinx me. So I'm going to use Stamp and Seal today. Um, by the way, this was Pale Papaya. I don't think I told you that. This is Pale Papaya. This is a thick basic white card base. We're going to layer, we're going to use lots of dimensionals, okay? Because why not? So we're going to put this rectangle up a little bit high on the left corner like that. And then we'll put this pumpkin pie tag down a little bit like that. Let's take our little pennant and we are going to just glue that down flat. Don't try to do dimensionals with that. Well, I mean, I guess you could. I'll put that right there. Okay. And then we're gonna get our little kitty cat. And what did you guys, and you're here. Hi, Ange. My bestie from Canada. Are you not teaching today, Ange? Or are you taking a day off? Am I throwing you under the bus? Oh, you're homesick. Oh, a lot of people are sick right now. What's going on? We don't have time for that. No more sickness. All right, little pennant right there. Banner, do you call that a banner? Or no, that's a banner, that's a pennant, right? One never knows. Okay, so super cute, right? Super cute, lots of great shapes, no fussy cutting, but we have to embellish. I've got the pool party ribbon, the pool party sheer ribbon, and we're going to use scissors if I could find scissors. You know, you'd think, I, ha I set up this whole little station over here. And, and then I and then I steal it. I steal stuff from it. So then it's not there. Glue dot right there. And then we're going to use some of these sequins. They're called Artistry Bloom sequins. And we're just going to add a little bit of something, something around our kitty cat. J you're just perfect. So that that would be considered a pun, right? Um. That card, that sentiment, I think, could be used for lots of things. And I think that this image would be great for kids. What do you guys think? So cute, right? Again, if you don't like the sentiment, change it. There's lots of options. Um, happy birthday from us. That would be kind of cute <laughs> with a cat and the fish. Better together. 
I love hanging around with you. That really goes more with the monkeys. Hey there, I'll always be here for you. See, almost all of them go with that. Okay, card number one is done. I'm chatting too much. Let me get all of my goodies and we're gonna do card number two. Now, I have to be honest about card number two. I told you guys last week, I've been casing quite a few things. <laughs> I get very low mojo around the end of the catalog. It's very hard for me to come up with ideas when I'm waiting for a new catalog. So I saw a card on Instagram and it was a video. It was like an ad for another company. And I screenshotted the card because I loved the colors in the background. So I don't know. I don't even know what the company was. I don't know. But I'm cased in the background. I'm going to show you guys what colors I use. I wouldn't have even put these colors together, I don't think, had I not seen that card. All right, so we're gonna do old school paper tearing. How long has it been since you've done paper tearing? Isn't that like an old school technique? I think it is. All right, so this card's really easy. We've got a pale papaya piece, four by five and a fourth. And we're gonna start, we'll start with the back color first, okay? So Coastal Cabana. And when you tear, tear, let's see, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Tear purposefully. You know, you can control the way your paper tears. Go slow. You don't want it to just be like a straight edge. You want it to have some interest. And when you tear up like this, this side's gonna have more texture. You can see on that side, there's no texture. So you wanna use the side that has all that texture. All right, so we're gonna start with that. The measurements for this, for each piece, is on the PDF today. All right, so Coastal Cabana, then its sister, Bermuda Bay, and I want it to be high on, you know, like one side of one piece and low on the other, so I'm, I'm trying to tear purposefully, purpose, purposefully, with purpose. <laughs> then Night of Navy, which is not a color I think I would have done on my own, right? But it looks good. Sometimes it's, you know, you can get color from other people. Now, I'm not going to have this one go all the way to the bottom because then it'll be too low. I probably should have cut it maybe a half an inch bigger. And then my favorite green, Granny Apple, Granny Apple Green. Now, yesterday... I have clean recordings, like I always do of these, um, over on YouTube. Yesterday when I was filming, I forgot to stamp the sentiment until it was all put together. So if you do that, today I remembered, but if you do that, use your stamparatus because then you'll be able to position it correctly. And, oh, is that kind of crooked? Man, and I don't like this side. Okay, let's, let's try this. Let's try... Maybe I should have left it on the Stamparatus, huh? Okay, we're gonna do it this way. Let's try it again. Now I'm scared, hold on, let's practice. Okay, so it needs to go up just a tiny bit there. Mm. Man, well, all right, whatever, whatever. I mean, it wouldn't be handmade if it was perfect, right? Stamparatus, what I'm trying to tell you, and look at that, what's happening with this card? Let me get my trimmer. Um, what I'm trying to tell you, do as I say and not as I do, use your Stamparatus. You can position your stamp. This is too thick for this tiny cutter. You can position your stamp, um, you know, straight, and then if you stamp it wrong, like my cat, then you can lay it back down and stamp it again in the same place. This card is falling apart. This is the card I said was the easy one. I'm not sure what's happening today. It heard me say easy and it was like, oh, sister. Oh my gosh, hold on. Let me just get my big paper cutter. Jeez Louise. I'm not sure what's happening. moon maybe it's a full moon <laughs> okay there now we got it pretend like the last three minutes didn't happen I'm gonna put this on here with dimensionals and so that was part of the problem why you can't 
You could probably stamp it before you put the dimensionals on the back, but if you try to stamp with on something with a dimensional underneath, good luck to you. That's why I said pull the stamp out. It works. It works a lot better. All right, there we go. There we go. It's a little skinnier than it was supposed to be, but whatever. Um, I have also cut out a sun somewhere. Somewhere. Where did it go? It's right here. It's under here. There it is. A sun. Um, this is just a small, like about two inches, daffodil delight circle for the sun. And we're just going to slip it under there like that. <laughs> that dimensional backing will not go away. All right. Let's use a stamparatus right now. Because now I'm nervous. My stamping today has been bad. Let's put this on here like this. And let's see. She's probably not clean. These little quail would you guys call these quail are very cute um i don't know what color they're actually supposed to be but we're going to use pale papaya and cinnamon cider because cinnamon cider is leaving it's one of those retiring colors and i'm going to use it every chance i get all right, light pale papaya, otherwise known as peekaboo peach in the Erica Serwin world. I have a hard time remembering that this is not peekaboo peach. Peekaboo peach. Oh, yes. Um, I was looking at comments today from last week, um, picking a winner for prizes, and somebody said strawberry... No, strawberry slush. We were talking about a red from a long time ago. And now I see, why can't I remember these names? Um, we've had some really good pinky reds in the past. This new one, Sweet Sorbet, is really good. It's a really good pinky red and I love it. Um, bronze and your color lifter. Um, for, for the um, quail, is that what you're saying? Um, we're going to use one of our natural tone blends on the monkeys in a minute. Um, not bronze, but one of the natural tones. I like to use those markers for other things besides just, you know, skin tone. So again, the artist has given us little dot, dot, dots showing us where to put some, some darker color. I'm going to color the right here. This weird thing underneath is her little like wing giving her little baby a hug so you want that to be dark because that's going to be behind her and then i'm just gonna take my light again and kind of blend those up like that a shadow would be wherever she's covering up her mama's body okay all right cinnamon cider cinnamon cider is over here on the other one we're gonna use it twice today this is one of those where it's really hard to tell the light from the dark. I'm gonna go with light. And these little plumes on their head, we're gonna do cinnamon cider. Their beaks, cinnamon cider, and their little chicken legs. Skinny little legs, okay? All right. You guys, I have a story for you. Oh my gosh, I'll tell you, well, I'll tell you why I'm coloring the monkeys. You know what? I didn't want to use pink and blue peach for their shadow. I guess it's okay, but I really did want to just use cinnamon cider. You don't want them flowing, floating around in space, okay? You want them to have a line of ground that they're standing on, a little shadow line. All right, now, pale papaya is here for another year. It's one of our end colors, here for another year. However, this ribbon, the pale papaya and white... What is it called? What do they call it? Pale papaya and white woven ribbon is one of my favorites. And I usually am not a big fan of thick um, ribbon, but I really like this ribbon. It is on sale because it's leaving. It's retiring like $4 and something, $4.20. So I put a glue dot, folded that in half. Hey, somebody asked me last week how I fixed my glue dots because I can't stand the glue dots now that are on how they're on the outside. I unravel my entire glue dot thing 
and then roll it up backwards. It really takes you maybe like two minutes. It doesn't take too long. So if they're driving you crazy, do it. Some, I saw somebody ask me that. I missed that question last week. All right, so we'll just I just made a little loop and we're gonna put it about right there, okay? And then we're gonna tie a tiny little bow like this with our white twine. I'm so excited about the new twine in the new catalog, five new colors of twine. Get ready to see a lot of twine on all my projects. I am a big fan of twine, big fan. <laughs> All right, that can just go right there. And now we'll just bring over this little funky colored sunset and just put this on with dimensionals. I haven't done torn paper in a really long time and I love the way it looks. I love the texture it adds. And then we're gonna grab some um, iridescent, rhin iridescent rhinestones, is that what they're called? Did I put it on the list? Iridescent rhinestones, yeah. I have ordered putty refill <laughs> and it hasn't come yet. And my old putty on here is out and I keep reusing the same one and it looks so gross. I need a refill. All right, so just a few little blingy blings. Just give us a little sparkle. And there you go. I'll always be here for you. Isn't that a sweet card? I can think of several people right off the top of my hat. <laughs> top of my hat. Top of my head, I could send that to. What do you guys think? Easy? Now, if you want to step it up, you can fussy cut these guys. Fussy cut them with your paper snips. But we're not doing that today. You're welcome. You're welcome. I know. I always hear it. Oh, fussy cutting. All right. Now, we've got one more project, and it's a 3D. And I'm going to tell you a story while I'm coloring the monkeys, because it does take a... The, coloring the monkeys takes a little while. But let me show you what we're going to make first. This is a little treat box, okay, made with the delightful tag topper punch. And inside are some banana now and laters. See what I did? I found a banana flavored treat for the monkeys. Banana flavored now and laters. Now you can just put whatever you want in there, whatever you want, okay? All right, let's make our little box first. Now, fair warning here. My measurements yesterday were messed up, and I think I fixed them. <laughs> Place your bets now to see if Erica got the measurements right. The measurements are on today's PDF, all right, right down here at the bottom. And this is Just Jade. Just Jade is retiring. Just Jade is a really good, um, kind of like a Kelly green. Um, it's a really good green. So it's leaving. Make sure you get your cardstock your ink. I think the refill is sold out. I think all the in color refills are sold out. Um, but anyway, it's a good color. So four by 11 and you want to score the short side first at one and three. And I'll show you why in a second. And then you're going to turn it and you're going to score it at four and a half and six and a half. Now we're going to add two more score lines and we're going to stop at the horizontal score line. These are not actually fold lines. These are cutting guides. Okay, so at, let me look at my notes, three, and then you stop right there with that line, and then eight, three and eight, okay? Again, on the other side, three and eight. All right, hold on, super thirsty. I uh, got Chick-fil-A for lunch today. Nothing in my house sounded good. I went and got Chick-fil-A. And it was a madhouse. So I have my Chick-fil-A Diet Coke. All right, grab your bone folder. And you want to burnish these lines, but not these, not these weird additional score lines, okay? Don't burnish those. Now, grab your scissors, and you want to cut the four corners out, okay? So just take your scissors and cut them out. All right. This is a, an easy box. It's a tag topper box. You can do a lot of things with a tag topper punch. And we have two tag topper punch, punches right now. 
And I believe both of them are on the last chance list, which sad. And my, I will, fair warning, my tag topper punch has been used so much, it's almost, it almost needs to be thrown away. Like, I think I need to order a replacement because I've used it a ton. All right, so here's what your piece looks like. Now, you want to take your scissors and just snip and snip those lines. Snip, snip. Like that, okay? Now, before we put it together, bring over this delightful tag topper punch, and you're going to stick that in and punch it. See, my punch is just, it's on its last leg. I need to order a replacement. This is an excellent punch. Okay. <laughs> All right. If I do it fast, it'll do it. I have to like really like give it some muscle. Okay. So there it is. That's what it looks like. And it will cut an inch, an inch and a half and two inches. All right. So there is your box. That's what it looks like. Um, I am going to use stamp and seal just because I am being lazy and I don't want to use tear and tape <laughs> right now. Um, but tear and tape, stamp and seal plus, Tombow, all of those will be good. You want to put adhesive on the outside of those middle tabs because we're just going to fold this up and cover that like that. Okay. Don't worry. It looks ugly, but we're going to cover it with DSP. Okay. Like that. Now, get your DSP. I've got two pieces of the Just Jade Designer Series paper. Every single color of ours has a matching DSP. And of course, this is selling, this is re uh, retiring because these are the colors that are leaving. So you want to get this paper. And we'll co cover that. And then I've got another one, the same size. So we're just going to overlap it. You could probably save paper and use less on this, but I just thought, you know what, let's just keep it the same size and wrap it around. All right, so there. Now, we're just gonna tie it together like that. So, here's another Just Jade product. Just Jade. You know, if you're ever wondering, like, do I have something this color, or does Stampin' Up have a matching something? and you don't want to dig through the catalog, you can just go to the website and search by color. I think I've told you guys this before. Search Just Jade. And everything that has Just Jade in it will pop up. It's a very handy tool. All right, so we've got our box made, right? There you go, very easy. This would make a great party favor. Um, I love hanging around with you. I just think that's cute. All right, now. Thick basic white again, and I'm gonna stamp our little monkeys. You know what? Let's get the stamparatus. Let's do that again. I really should stamp everything with the stamparatus. I really should. Um, okay, so here's my story. Andrew, you still there? Ellie is my oldest. She's at college, she's a freshman. Um, and she texted me yesterday, texted, not called, texted me and said, um, just to let you know, I'm going to get a tattoo this afternoon. And I was like, what? We've had this conversation before. I knew she wanted to get a tattoo. I'm not totally against tattoos. Uh, what I'm against is getting a tattoo when you're 19, right? I mean, think back when you were 19. The tattoo you would have picked out at 19 probably isn't the tattoo you'd pick out at even 30 or 40, right? And you know, at 18, you just pick out stupid stuff. So she sends me a picture of what she wants to get a tattoo of. Exactly, Denise, exactly. Um, and it's, so Ellie's super positive. She's, she's happy, she's bubbly. She's like, she's just always, she's one of those people who's just always happy. Nothing gets her down. So she found this little, now, remember, she's an artist also, okay? She can draw. But she found this dumb clip art online. And it was a little little cup that has water in it with a couple of scraggly daisies in it. And it says, half full. Okay, I get where she's going with it, right? The thing was ugly. 
It wasn't drawn very well, first of all. She could have drawn it way better. Second of all, it was probably going to end up being, you know, big. And it looks like, it looked like a child drawing, like, a, like your first grader drew it for you. That's what it looked like. And I think it was probably drawn to look like that. But you don't want that as a tattoo. Am I right? Um, light cinnamon cider is where I'm starting with these monkeys. So we went round and round. And I'm trying not to lose it with her. And I, and I, but, I, you know, I mean, come on. I'm trying to save you some embarrassment of this ugly tattoo later on in life. And, and she had told me some ideas she had before, I, which I didn't hate. You know, there were some Bible verses, some, you know, some art things, whatever. But this, I was like, what is, what, what? No, 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 no. So finally, I broke her down. <laughs> and she was all like, fine, I just won't get it. Fine, right, fine. And then I felt bad. Okay, pause the story. I'm using 800, number 800. I don't know which pack this comes in. Um of, you know, they come in two packs right now. Well, they're mostly all unorderable right now. But in the new catalog, they're going to all come in the one skin tone pack. And I'm going to use that to blend this little monkey with cinnamon cider. All right, so so then she's like, you know, like I broke her down. She's not going to get it. And then I feel bad. And I just told her, look, I don't care that you're getting a tattoo. Because definitely I don't want her to do it because I tell her not to, you know, and, uh, she came up, she said, well, what about this? And she sends me this tiny little circle that is like a wave and it represents, there's a Bible verse that represents blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, see, there you go. That's much, that's, that's much better. And it was tiny. I mean, it was like this big and it was just black, like a, a circle drawn with a wave in it. I'm like, okay. All right. So then I'm thinking, you know, your hip, your back, somewhere. It's going to be tiny, she says. And so I say, okay, where are you going to get it? And she says, on her heel. I'm like, your heel? You mean like on the bottom of your foot? And she says, no, on the side. I said, so you mean your ankle? Oh, yes, my ankle. <laughs> you know, they, they, they act like adults. And then they say silly things like, calling her ankle her heel whatever so fine okay fine and she tells me it's gonna be tiny well she calls me last night and it's not tiny it's big it's bigger than a quarter for sure and it's on the side of her ankle so my daughter has a tattoo yes my daughter has a tattoo I'm not, I don't know. I mean, I'm again, I'm not against tattoos, you guys. I'm just against 18, 19 year old tattoos. Cause you make, you make dumb choices when you're 18. And you know what she said? I said, Ellie, that's really big. And she said, I know, but I felt bad. I didn't want to tell her that it was too big. I'm like, <laughs> Ellie, oh, whatever. You live and learn, right guys? Okay, so our monkeys are done. We've done number see how nice that that 800 looks with cinnamon cider it makes them kind of have a lighter color blends into like a lighter color now this is something you can do um that makes your monkeys pop out can you see these guys i've gone around them with pool party um, a pool party stamp and blend so i'm looking at y'all's comments i wasn't looking um, and y'all are making me laugh. I'm gonna have to come back and look my 17 year old had first breakout we said oh ice cream see lisa Ice cream would be better than a tattoo. My daughter and her cousin did that when they went off to college. Yeah. My daughter got her first at 18, at 22. She has five. Oh, God, that's a lot. Um, you know, tattoos aren't as taboo, maybe, as they used to be. But still, I'm like, put it where you can cover it with clothes. I don't know. Okay, pool party. <laughs> She's on her way home. I, I, I can't talk. I can't. I have to be nice. She's an adult. Asked her how she was going to pay for it. She said with the money she made from her job, which is probably all the money she has. Ay, whatever. All right, so I'm going to go around the edge with Pool Party Light. This gives like a little bit of a glow, kind of a shadow around. I was hoping she'd chicken out, and I was hoping it would hurt too much. And she said it hurt really bad, but it only took about eight minutes. <laughs> 
<laughs> to do it. So it's, I mean, it's, it's very basic. It's very just, there's no color. It's just black, you know, black line. Um, and then we were FaceTiming her last night with her sisters and they've already all three planned a tattoo that they're all going to get when the youngest turns 18. So I'm like, oh my gosh. She, she had somebody in her dorm pierce a third piercing in her ear in the dorm. So I was afraid. I, that was the first thing I asked her is where are you getting this tattoo? Like who's doing this? We're not, this isn't a, a dorm room job, right? Like somebody didn't just go like buy some tattoo um, <laughs> equipment on eBay. Please tell me you're going to a legitimate tattoo professional. <sighs> I'm way too chicken to have a tattoo that, you know, I, I can barely get a shot without freaking out. So there's no way I'd ever be able to get a tattoo. My husband has two when he was young, got him when he was in the army, young, about Ellie's age. And he hates one of them, hates it. So, you know, that, that just goes to show you when you're 18, 19, you are not who you are as an adult. And you shouldn't be making life long <laughs> decisions. All right, here's another die that's retiring, the hippo dies. These haven't sold out yet, have they? I, I told you guys these were all available and now I'm questioning myself. This goes with that Hippo and Friends stamp set that's so cute, but the labels are the best part of that die set. Um, this is the second largest and it just barely fits. Um, actually, you're gonna cut off a tiny bit of that um, branch up there, which is fine. We don't want it to be so big that it is, looks silly with our, our little treat holder. All right, so we've got that. We're almost done. Repair guy, he's gonna be here, I gotta hurry. Okay, so now here's another of the Stitch So Sweetly from that other set that I told you from the last, from the first project. Um, it is such a good set. If you don't have it, get it, it's so good. All right, for the love, can I stamp straight today? Let's see, same one, I'll always be here for you. That's not what I stamped though on it. Where did this come from? This is a wrong stamp. Every project I have today is is featuring the back side of the cardstock. <laughs> Every single one. This is more fun. I love hanging around with you. That is super fun, right? And that, I think, if you had a little like a jungle birthday party, a zoo birthday party, these would be perfect little party favors, right? I love hanging around with you. That's so cute. Okay, dimensionals dimensionals they've disappeared they've gone rogue here they are we're gonna put this guy right here on the top okay like that oh wait before we do that I've also cut out a little tropical looking leaf right this is from the tropical layer dies and you can glue it on with glue and stand there and hold it and wait for it to dry and I'm not going to do that I'm going to put dimensionals on top of it that's, that's where these should have gone on top of it. Now we'll hold it down while also holding this on. Okay, so I've got a little, little tropical, little tropical um, branch. And then that can go right there. He's gonna cover up a little bit of our, of our monkey. And then last but not least, hopefully I haven't lost it. Here it is. I have a tiny Just Jade stitched heart. That is cut with, everybody knows my favorite dies right now, get the give it a whirl dies. Tiny little stitched heart. And there you go. I think it's pretty easy. The, you know, if you're gonna make a bunch of these, the thing that's gonna take you the longest is coloring the little monkeys. So sit down in front of the TV. Oh, speaking of TV, I wanted to tell you guys, if you haven't watched Sweet Magnolias on Netflix, you need to watch it. It's a series. Season two has been out for a while. I watched season one a long time ago and I was just like, meh. Season two is so good. If you haven't watched it, you need to watch it. It's sweet. It's funny. It's, I cried almost every episode and not because it's sad, because it's good and it's sweet and it's loving and it's so good. So I wanted to make sure you guys knew because I like to share shows with you guys and you always share shows with me. Sweet Magnolias. And I watched the first season and I liked it, but the second season really has got me so good. That's my, 
<laughs> That's my public announcement today for TV recommendations. Okay. <sighs> we made it. <laughs> we made it. I've got three projects for you um, featuring the Catch You Later. I'll send you the make and takes for free next week if you put in your order by Monday at midnight using this host code. If your order is, um, un let's see, what am I trying to say? If your order is over $150, don't use the host code. You'll get Stampin' Rewards, also known as free stuff. Um, and I'll still send you the projects for free, okay? I just want you to make sure that you take advantage of the free stuff too, so don't use the host code. If your order is under $150, please use the host code. That's how I know you want the order. I mean, you want the make and takes. If your order doesn't have the host code, I assume you don't want the projects. If you forget the host code and you do want the projects, just email me. It's fine. Just email me and let me know, okay? I just don't want to send projects to people who don't want them because what a waste, right? It's a waste of time and money. So, but I do want to send them to those of you that want them, okay? Okay, here's my bonus projects. I showed you this one already with a ridiculous fussy cutting. Um, that one will be on the blog one is coming up in the next couple of days. This one's cute. Look, it uses the um, picture this dies. Little cat. Um, you can mask off the cat and the um, little fishbowl. Little splatter, little inking, and that beautiful um, that paper that's called Sweet Symmetry. Symmetry. Sweet Symmetry, right? And then this one's kind of a muted look. The quail there are more like realistic colors, I would think, maybe. A um, little kind of darker tone. I mean, I kind of really stuck with the brights today, but that one's kind of a more muted. Got that um, In Good Taste Designer Series paper. Those will be on the blog in the next few days. I'll try to do one maybe Saturday, Monday, and Tuesday. Who do you want to send it to? You know, Siri, not today. She doesn't hear me when I say her name, but she thinks she hears me when I don't say her name. Why is that? <laughs> you guys, I hope you have a wonderful Easter um, weekend. Be safe. Um, hope you get to spend some time with family. Next week, we will be back to Friday. Um, next week is going to be the kite set. I can't remember what it's called. The kites in the spring catalog. And I'm using all the new end colors next week on the projects for you, okay? All right, don't forget about signing up for In Color Club, signing up for product shares and those two classes to go. Um, let me know if you have questions. I won't be checking email very much this weekend, if at all, so be patient with me getting back to you if you email me over the weekend. We have company coming, so I'll be busy. All right, and now I have to fix the, the phone. It did that weird thing again wonderful weekend. I'll see you next week. Bye.